boyfriend was given the promotion over her. Will it come between them? Next on Seven's Home and Away. Previously on Home and Away. Right, so you don't care about Summer Bay anymore. I don't know Summer Bay anymore. Not the way I thought I did. So I've just got to get out of the road. That's all there is to it. Congratulations, leading constable Buckton. Thank you, sir. You're jumping me straight to sergeant. Looks like you've got a new bus to break in. Congratulations. Yeah, you too. Look, I can understand if this was a bit of a shock. It was for me too. No, no, no. I was just thinking how wonderful it is to see how much everyone's changed in a year. Everyone loves you now. Oh, well, it is Watson's day off. I can always count on her to pull me into line. <laughs> True. So, tonight calls for a celebration. A double celebration? No, we don't need to celebrate mine. Are you kidding? Leading senior constable is a big thing. Thanks, but no, tonight should be all about you. That's crazy. We are celebrating both. Oh, is that an order, boss? Okay, how long do I have to put up with that for? <laughs> how long have you got? Anyway, I better get started. I've got heaps to catch up on. Granddad loves the surf club. Can't believe you'd just walk away from it. I can. You saw how he was on TV. But I don't think it's just the riots. It's also what happened with Hugo. I think I'll just need some time out and for people to leave him alone. Hey, do you know how Charlie's going? I think she got back from the resort yesterday. Do you know if she's working today? Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Um, I'm going to go to the gym. I'll see you guys later. How's Aiden handling the bait shop? I haven't had any complaints from customers so far, but it's only been a day. Give it time. Hmm. Oh, it's a shame it's only a one-man setup, otherwise I might have been able to fling a bit of work your way. Ah, thanks, but I think I can live without being cooped up with Aiden inside a shop. Trawler was bad enough. It's Ruby. She's asking how my shoulder is for the third time today. Still attached. Uh, she's just worried about you. Yeah, I know, but there's a lot of people far worse off than me. Have you heard about Hazard? He's still in intensive care. And what about Leah? I phoned her a few times, but she seems to be keeping to herself. Makes me sick every time I think of those flaming drunken mongrels. Like to bang their heads together, a lot of them. No, I don't think that'd help. Maybe not, but it'd make me feel a hell of a lot better. Aren't you upset about what happened? I just want to forget everything that happened and move on. So I was thinking maybe we can start our celebrations with a lunch today, just you and me. Well, it sounds lovely. I'm not really that hungry, though. Okay, we can get a juice from the surf club, then. Yeah, all right. Uh, we'll have to drink them quickly, though. I've got heaps to catch up on. I just thought we stuck back with all this mess tonight when we should be out celebrating your promotion. Our promotion. Sorry, boss. Okay, enough of the boss thing. Okay, I'm sorry. It just slipped out. Oh, thanks for coming in, guys. No problem. How was your trip? Good. Uh, a little quieter than what happened back here by the sounds of things. Mm. Listen, I just wanted to thank you both for what you did. I know Angela's going to be covering the official stuff, but, yeah, I just want to say thanks, especially to you, Jeff. Ruby told me that you were injured protecting her. There's nothing. How's your shoulder feeling now? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, um, just come straight through. We've obtained photographs of some people who might be among the riders. These are the ones that most closely match the descriptions given to us by you and John Palmer. Twenty of them look familiar. Well, it all happened pretty quick, and we were focusing on trying to get help to the people that needed it. It's okay. Take your time. I'm pretty sure that bloke was there, but I don't know if he actually did anything. You recognise anyone, Jeff? No, no one. Can we go now? Sure. Thanks for coming in. He still seems pretty rattled. Well, it wasn't exactly the greatest night of our lives. How about you? How are you holding up? Uh, we're right after a good holiday. We should check out the resort that Charlie and I stayed in. Did both of us the world of good? Thanks. But I think I'm going to need a lot more than a week away from this joint.
just said you weren't upset about what happened at the diner. Not. Well, you gave a very good impression of an angry young man at the police station earlier, and you've barely said a word since. I'm not angry, Mr. Stewart. I'm, I'm just tired. That's all. Fair enough. Well, uh, take it easy, eh? You too. Hey, you going? Fine. How's the shoulder? Getting sick of everyone asking me this. Okay, you want to know, Xavier? It hurts. All right? It hurts all the time, but I'll live. End of story. You, I'm sorry. That's cool. No, it's not. It's it's just a burn. It's nothing compared to what your family's going through. Dude, a major burn is nothing. And as for my family, I feel like I should be apologizing to you. What? Well, if it wasn't for Hugo smuggling those people into the bay in the first place, then they wouldn't have got sick and the media wouldn't have gone on the way they did. And the drunks wouldn't have rioted. What happened to you was caused by my brother. That doesn't make any sense. Those drunk guys were just looking to kick heads. One excuse is as good as any. I don't know about that. Trust me, I was there. So, seriously, how much does it hurt? Feels like there's about a thousand knives to get in my skin. Yeah. It won't feel like that forever, though, will it? No. But they say I'm going to have a pretty big scar for the rest of my life. Well, if you do, that's probably the upside. <laughs> a, a scar's tougher than a tat any day. And chicks really dig them. <laughs> I'll take your word for that. <sighs> so, if you're not doing anything, do you want to come over and grab something to eat? No, I, I don't want to bother your mum. I mean, you guys are still grieving. <sighs> it's hard, but... After what Hugo did, we're moving on. So don't sweat it. Come on. <laughs> yep. Hey, I hope you might find you here. What are you up to? Oh, I'm just uh, packing a little bait shop stuff up for Aiden. Oh, thought it might be nice if your granddaughter takes you out for lunch today. Oh, sorry, love, but I'm flat out. We've got to go over and finalise stuff at the surf club after this. So you haven't changed your mind about early retirement? Well, I'm not retiring. I'll still be around doing bits and pieces. Just pulling away from the community as much as possible. Can we talk about this, please? There's nothing to talk about. Yeah, there is. You can't just pull away from the world and all the things that you love. The surf club's just a job, and the bait shop's nothing more. This isn't like you. I've never heard you talk like this before. Maybe you're right. Maybe I have changed. And if I have, well, I can't see myself changing back any time soon. So you and the rest of the world are just going to have to get used to it.